Yeah, I think I think if you if you break them down, they you know they're a massively exciting side. They play some exceptionally good rugby. I think they've been very unfortunate over the past couple of weeks to to lose those games, especially the one against France. Um, they do play some great stuff. They've got a they've picked a really quick side, you know, so they want to they really want to throw the ball around a little bit, and um, you know it's crucial for us to try and stem that, I suppose. Um, my defence has been pretty good, especially against South Africa. I thought we defended exceptionally well. We were very tough, and I think we're going to need that and go a little bit more in terms of trying to stop these guys tomorrow night. Obviously, we'll be smarting after the uh, England loss and the chance to, to bounce back by bringing down the world number one side in their home will be obviously hugely motivating, I imagine. Yeah, yeah, I think that's, uh, that's the challenge that they've got. It's a challenge that we've got. We know teams are going to come here and want to want to beat us and it's um, it's crucial that we focus on ourselves and put ourselves you know with a with a valid performance that you know we believe that we can get to um, you know I think we've been a bit off against South Africa especially from an attacking point of view and, and Fiji wasn't great so um, it's a great opportunity for the guys that are taking the field tomorrow night to to really put in a performance to be proud of and I think that's ultimately what we want. And just in terms of rounding off the year then and equipping that record of home wins and all of that obviously that would uh, yeah, it's been listen, it's been it's been great and, and you know, to beat South Africa the way we beat South Africa too, it wasn't pretty, but that, that physicality, um, I think we definitely went up another a level on that. So um, Australia will will give us completely different threats across the board. So it's making sure that we're able to deal with those and adapt accordingly. Stuart McCluskey and Jimmy O'Brien retained the certain positions this week. What, what did they bring to the party? Um, Stu's skill set is a lot more than people assume. You know, he's a big man and he's always been seen as carrying. You know, he's got a very good offloading game, but his distribution and his, his subtleties on the ball, um, you know, he makes good decisions at the line, but he's able to pull those balls back and he's, he's very calm. He's a very calming influence on that, um, whereas Jimmy is, just understands the game of rugby. He understands the feel, he, you know, he's, he's exceptionally good decision making, and he's another one that is just calm. Nothing phases him, you know, he's a little bit like Hugo in that, in that respect, he's, you know, he's coming to the environment and he just loves being in, in, in the environment and he, and he loves playing the game of rugby and he makes good decisions at the, at the right time. Still got a lot to, to develop, of course, but you know, he's a great guy to have. And he's a, a left footer too, which helps us massively from, a, from an exiting point of view. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, the, the attack didn't really get into full flow against Fiji last week. Where would you like to see improvements in it this week? Um, I think decision-making, authority in the decision-making, um, but more assertive from the backs in terms of you know, where we're going and how we're getting there. And then, um, I suppose, the accuracy of, you know, we, we, we weren't accurate enough, even against South Africa with that rush defence. You know, Fiji got us a couple of times on the edges too. And um, it's crucial that we don't, we don't have those same things against Australia tomorrow night. We need to make sure that we, we grow from, from those past two games in terms of the pictures that we see and the decisions we make and, and how we execute them. So execution, the accuracy and execution is, is crucial tomorrow night. Just the last one for me. Um, in terms of the significance of, of the year going into next year, I could be wrong with this, but I think the last team to beat South Africa, New Zealand and Australia in one season was England back in 02, who then went down to win. Oh, that would be nice, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't part of that team, by the way. <laughs> so how, how big is it for the confidence of this team going into next year to get those three scouts one after the other? Um, I don't think we look at it that way, to be honest. I, I think it's more about the, the, the performance and, and the growth in our ability to win those big games that we're going to be more pleased with. Um, that's if, if it goes well tomorrow night. So. But Andy's always spoken about performance. It is about the individual performance, but collectively as a team, how together can we be and really go off to teams in terms of what we're about? And um, I think we showed that against South Africa in, in certain aspects, especially defensively. But uh, I, I, like you say, our attack hasn't, hasn't fired yet. So that's something that, that we'd like to, what I'd like to see get right tomorrow night. Thanks, Mike. Mike, you became a world champion against Australia in 2000. 
Yeah, it's great. It's life changing, really. <laughs> now, every time I played against Australia or was involved in coaching against Australia, they've always been great games. You know, very, very few games you play in against Australia are dull. There's always something happening. It's always very exciting. Um, and like I say, you know, the players they've got, they've got some quality players there. And it's, um, it's, it's, it's take, taking on the occasion and really enjoying it. You know, the crowd have been brilliant for us. Um, and again, we can we can go up and another noise level a Saturday night after after a Saturday wherever they might be. Um, so you know it would be it would be great for us to to finish this campaign on on a, on a good win and and but putting a brilliant performance together. And the ultimate aim is for Ireland to become world champions yeah. as a world cup winner. So knowing what it takes, do you think this group of Ireland players have the, the mentality and the, the quality to become world champions? Um, yeah, I think times have changed considerably since you know twenty years ago. It's definitely changed the whole the whole game's changed a lot of the time. But I think the the pathway we're on, we're going in the right direction. I think um, us being able to adapt, team has to adapt, and 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 France have done that exceptionally well um, over the over the past year as well. So you know there there are three, four, five teams that are capable of of adapting and winning anything. So, but where we're at at the moment. I think everybody's enjoying the environment we're in, we're enjoying what we're trying to achieve. Um, but like I say, you know, we've got we've got to be a lot more consistent in in certain areas of our game, and and that needs to start tomorrow night. And just one final one for you personally. Do you feel like the World Cup experience can help the, the team from next year tomorrow? Um, I suppose I've experienced it, and and you know, fortunate enough to be in a team that that did it, but. Yeah, I suppose at the end of the day, it's I've always based it down to decision making, and you know when you're calm and you and you can coach the calmness and you can coach the decision making, then you know it definitely puts you in a good place um, for you to go on and be successful. But there's a lot of rugby to be played before <laughs> before a World Cup, so um, you know we worry about tomorrow night first. And, and Mike, just on Stuart again, then it's kind of his first full campaign as a starter, I guess. And he has patience in, in, in that safety. He has, yeah. <laughs> How was he when he wasn't getting the opportunities and do you see any change in him now that he's started? Well, the, the nice thing is, is that you know, it's a hell of a competition in that area. You know, you know, Robbie, Gary, Bundy and, and, and Stu, you know, and James Hume, of course, he's, he's been in there too. Um, so it's, he's performed exceptionally well um, for Ulster and, um, you know, he's been able to bring it to the way we want to play. And I think that's been the impressive side of it. Obviously, with Bundy being banned, Robbie then getting injured, you know, it, it gives gives Stu a, a, a real opportunity to get two or three games in a row, and he's performed exceptionally well. So, from our point of view, is is you know he's got the jersey, and it's up to the other guys to get him out of that jersey. So he needs to take his chance again tomorrow night and and, and cement it in.